with the friendliest place on YouTube. That's right, we're playing Minecraft today with viewers, and I'm on the Lifeboat server, and I have no idea how you can join me, but Lifeboat is available for all who are playing on Bedrock, so I want to encourage you guys to pop on here. We're playing survival mode, like the total normal, like vanilla survival mode. Apparently you can kill each other in this, uh, but I figured, hey, let's go ahead and get to it. So, this is going to be a super, super fun night, and this may be filled with utter chaos, but I figured, hey, why the heck not? Let's get some tunes going, because Minecraft has the most boring of music, when it even has music. 
So there we go. We'll get that going. And uh, everybody just gets another 50 rupees just for being awesome here tonight. Yes, this is going to be good. Okay, I got to pull up the thing. Make sure I can see your chat. And don't hit the stop streaming button. Don't want to do that. All right. Hey, what's up, Common to Best? Good to see you. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't know how all you uh, can join. I went into the survival world inside of Lifeboat. Maybe you have to add me as a friend. My name is Basement underscore Ted. And then I think you can join me. I think that's how it works. Or not underscore. Basement space Ted. So if you want to join, feel free to do that. But we're just I'm going to I'm going to try to figure this out. I have a book. Uh, update, save position to spawn. Friends and party clear spawn position. Cosmetics, mounts, pets, rank manager. Interesting. Okay. No idea what any of that stuff is, because I usually just play the most boring version of Minecraft you could possibly imagine. I mean, it's not boring to me. I certainly enjoy vanilla Minecraft. Incredibly a lot. Oh, this music is weird. Oh, hey! Free stuff! We're gonna go ahead and just take that one off of this list. Let's, or just skip, skip ahead. There we go. This one's better. This one's better. This is the only way to make sure that I don't get copyright struck is to play music that I made in the background. So, I don't, uh, so I'm a bad person to ask on how to add friends and invite and all that stuff because I don't know. So, we're going to have to go with somebody in the chat who's watching, who is I mean, I'm sure a few people are probably going to end up playing that are a little bit more uh, savvy with this than I am. But you can see my my uh, position up in the top there. You can see my cords. And I'm not going to go too far from spawn, even though I know that that's a really, really bad idea to build any sort of thing too close to spawn in these sorts of situations. But hey, we're going to do it anyway. But hey. What's up, Sarah? Good to see you. We're just gonna kind of run in here and I don't know how many people can fit in the same world but it's a big giant server so I'm assuming they can fit lots of people so lots of chests everywhere nope nope don't want that I want to see what's in the said chest ooh more free stuff what a random Thing. Oh, is that like when when somebody dies? That's what drops. I also realized I turned my graphic settings to like super low earlier today uh, Fancy leaves beautiful skies smooth lighting fancy graphics. There we go. Oh so much better What's up Arcadia good to see ya What was my username again Ozzy my username is basement space Ted And I think it'll work for you to join right like it'll shoot me like a request or something I don't know I guess we'll find out here's a totally like exploded looted house that's how these things usually go we'll just grab the chest we don't have to make one ourselves hey what's up creative corner good to see you let's just get a little ways from Despawn here. So many like abandoned homes. Not, not, uh, I don't know what the word is to describe this, but it's disconcerting. That's the word I was looking for. Whoa, that is the end of the world. So it's a certain size. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Well, let's, we're going to build, uh, we're going to, we're going to live close to the edges and we're going to kind of go like kitty corner diagonal from the spawn point. Woo. Hello. You sent a friend request. 
Okay, let's see here. Thank you. Um, Alright, I'm going to see if I can find the friend request. Um, hey, sweet. Here's some friend requests coming in hot. Um, widget menu, looking for group, no, Ugh, Windows friend request system is goofy, keeps like popping up random stuff here, let's see, maybe, multi, no, no, Profile. We'll get you guys joined in here as soon as I learn how to do it. Living on the edge. My username is Basement Space Ted. Okay, I got a few friend requests. This is good. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, new follower. Followers. Is that the same as a friend request? see no new notifications okay that's fine friends let's see online some people playing minecraft find players no I don't want that Message requests, five unread. Do I have to, f does follow mean you're a friend and you follow them back? Is that how you do it? All right, buddy the dog. Can I join your game? Sub destroyer. Add. Oh my gosh, how Xbox Windows, how could you have such a convoluted friend adding system? Okay, that's a chat. That's not adding them as a friend. <laughs> How can we join? I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure that out because I want to play with y'all. I think you need to go back to the lifeboat hub. Okay, let's try and go back to the lifeboat hub. Lifeboat. Join. Okay, I'm a... I'm a... Yeah, you should be able to, Dragon Kitty. We just gotta find each other and we gotta all join together. So how do we find each other? We could all gather over here. Wait, this is lifeboat, right? Yeah, it is, okay. We're gonna meet by the, uh... Let's meet by the bridge going into VIP. How about that? Pop in a lifeboat hub. We're in lifeboat, lifeboat server. Go on the name tag. You friend requested me. Okay. Let's see if I can find... How do I add friends through... This game? In my inventory. Okay, okay. Aha! View requests. Thank you. Friend requests. Beautiful. Accept. Requests. We're just going to accept everybody as friends. This will be the easiest. 
Friend requests. Accept. Ozzy! Accept. Accept. Ha 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 ha! We're adding lots of new friends today. Dragon Knight. <laughs> My weekend is going great, calm to best. Sub Destroyer. Accept request. And I don't know if we necessarily need to be... Do we need to be in the hub? In order for this to work? Ozzy, what's up? Good to see you. The IP for the server? I don't know what the IP is here. And I think... I mean, it's a bedrock server, so it might not work that way. Um, let's see here. Lifeboat. Maybe it's in settings. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like we're all starting to gather, so that's beautiful. What's up, guys? Good to see you. Oh, this is cool. We're all kind of hanging out in an area. Makes me a little nervous to like go and try to play like a, a game or something. Or like go into the survival mode because I feel like we're all going to get lost. Hey, Chris, what's happening? Hi, how are you doing? Wovwe! Hello! Oh my gosh! Are you the same Wovwe that is made famous from your awesome Mario Maker level you sent us several years ago? Gather around, friends. Gather around. Yeah, it's a it's a great weekend. Thanks, God servant. All right. Uh, Bedrock is Pocket Edition. It's also um, Windows 10 Edition, and it's also if you're playing on like a Switch or an Xbox as well. Okay, so I think I mean. I suppose we don't necessarily need... Oh, we're getting a couple more friend requests here. Let's accept them. Wonderful. Whenever it says trying to join, it says disconnected from a server. It sounds like you might not have a great internet connection. Wonderful. Accept friend request. So, yeah, go to the lifeboat server. And then add basement space Ted as a friend. Ha! This is cool, we're getting like a group together. Oh, can't play since you're on a Mac? Yeah, Mac doesn't support Bedrock, unfortunately, Sarah. So Aaron Elliott, the way you, you join is you go to Lifeboat Server, and then once you're in the lobby, you'll go to the name tag, you'll click on Add a Friend, and then you'll type in Basement Ted and submit all right Get some cool friend requests here <laughs> nice and close nice and close all right add some more friend requests here the animator gamer plays nice just show your name in options oh that's a great idea does anybody know, do we have to be in the lobby for people to find us and join us? Or can we actually go into the survival world and get started? Oh, friend could not be added. I've reached my non-VIP max. <clears throat> um. Shoot. Okay, so what what do we what do we do now, Ozzy? I've reached my non-VIP max for friends. <laughs> oh, cool! What we usually play on lifeboat. This is my first time ever. Looks like Ozzy is typing. Ooh, Mario Sunshine! What a great game. I'm in lifeboat, but you aren't there. 
I'm in the lobby. I'm here. I guess we can start survival. I think we can join because you were in the same lobby. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try to start survival. And I wonder if time limit and purge the friends list. View friends. I've got a lot of friends on here. <laughs> and I think every like this is like the max I can hold. I mean, I suppose somebody who's in the group could also I mean, you could ask to be friends with anybody else in the group, I suppose, huh? I wonder if the animator gamer plays is okay with people adding them T anime G plays as a friend and maybe they could follow them as well. Thank you so much for the super chat, cat. I want to go and read that. Basement is the coolest place to hang out. I love your community. Well, we love you. Thank you so much, Cat Shirley. And as always, super chats are always appreciated, but never required, as Mr. A Game likes to say. Well, let's head into the survival world, and we'll see if we can figure out how to get more, uh, more friends here with us. So I think you want to click on survival mode. Oh, just click on it with your fist, maybe. Or you click on the house. Or maybe you just go in there? <laughs> I was in there before. I don't know how I did it, though. Oh, you just left click. Okay, I think, I think I'm think i in. That's all right. Yeah, especially if your parents don't want you to donate. Don't, don't do it. Do what your parents say. They're, they're important people in your lives. Hey... All right, um, four new friend qu friend requests and five friends online. Um, okay, let's let's start surviving. Maybe ah, drifted branches. Do you got a new personal best in Minecraft speedruns? Nicely done. If you press the compass, then you can go to world select, and then you can go anywhere. Oh, so you don't have to actually just go there. You can just use the compass to get there. Sweet. Looks like a lot of people are actually joining in the survival world. We're just going to play. There's a little bit of lag. That's okay. Next time we play Breath of the Wild, fuel an empty master cycle with five monster extract. That seems like an expensive way to fuel, the, fuel it. Yes, please don't uh, don't say your age is online. It's generally not a safe idea. It's one of the ways that we like to protect our community is everybody keeping their ages a secret and their identities and their addresses and social security numbers. Fuels it fully with five. That's pretty good. I mean, it takes like 10 other things. I, I would... Personally, I would probably use something else because monster extracts are kind of expensive. Wovwe is in England. That's awesome. What's up, Craze Rivan? Whoa, there's some crazy house over here. Their location. Everybody's all over the map. We should all come together and build something, huh? I'm at, uh, okay, some of you guys are finding me, so that's good. I think, unless these are other people. I'm guessing, I'm guess, yeah, I, I'm recognizing a couple here, games breaking. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's build some stuff. Seems like a good idea. Okay, I want to build something. I don't know why I'm making a crafting table. There are a bunch of them all over the place here. Um, let's go ahead and make a 
My music is so loud I can't think. There we go. That's much better. We need coordinates. Uh, my coordinates are on the screen, but they, they're probably hard to see. 269, 125. Or like 270, 120. You'll find us. 270, 120. And we're not underground or way up in the sky. <laughs> Let's make a mess. Get this water everywhere. All right. We already digging down. We got to try to find some uh, some good materials here. <laughs> flood this place uh, Sure you can teleport to me. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit you. It was an accident. I swear Oh Yeah, if you need to go to sleep because it's 3 a.m. You should definitely go to sleep <laughs> Teleports. Those TPs work just fine. Now, here's my question. Do you have to uh, be friends in order to join the same survival world? Best way to say hi to someone who teleports to you, hit them. <laughs> it's true. That's not sus at all. Yeah, Holly, you just need to uh, you need to get back into Minecraft. It's such a great game. I'm just digging straight. Oh, not straight down. I'm making a mining stairwell. I can't deal with not having iron and stuff. Wow, lots of people up in here. This is awesome. What is this? There's like some kind of text thing in front of me. Oh! What is that? Oh, it's like a ghost. Whoa! What's up, butterfly love? Okay. If you tag my village in the coin master, me for 2,000 coins confused yeah hey everybody in the chat where are what part of the world are you watching like don't don't give your address but like are what country are you watching from maybe a region in the country Midwest East Coast okay I got some stuff I can make some stone tools now at least Nope, I already made one of those. I want a pickaxe. I want a shovel. All right. Oh, so you, you, you can't put anything. Whoa, that's okay. Just got to give it a second. Okay, so apparently you have to do it like that to move things around in your inventory. All right. <laughs> what is going on over here? Ooh. Everybody's having a meat throwing party. Everybody's throwing beefs all over the place. That was very kind of them. There are basement dwellers all over the planet. UK. England, Midwest, Texas, in the ocean. Are you really on a boat? Uh, Dragon Kitty, I think the way you get in, go to Lifeboat Server, and then go to the Survival World. It should have space. Yeah. <laughs> Only not Antarctica. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm having a hard time figuring out, like, I mean, do you, people mine in, in these uh, survival worlds? I suppose they do. You're literally on a lifeboat? <laughs> Nepal. Nepal is a beautiful country. Especially like in the mountains. I didn't watch A Game's birthday stream. I was going to and then I got busy. I should uh, tell him a happy late birthday. Sorry, we don't do shout outs on this channel. It just, it would be a constant stream of shout outs. If I did. Spend more time in creative mode in Minecraft. But survival is fun too. I'm a creative person too. I just, I feel like I have to earn my creativity, right? <laughs> this person's like, are you guys building a community or something? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's build a, let's build a community. People are like, where are all these people coming from? Like, there are tons of people in this survival world all of a sudden. It's wonderful. Um, I've got a bunch of wood. Here we go. I'm gonna start building a giant wooden house. Big wooden house right here. We can build a tower and we can all live in it. Hmm, do we have food solutions at all? That's another question. Seeds? Nope, no seeds. I've got no food. All right, maybe we just need to try to grow some food. Maybe is that is that a good idea? Because I don't see any mobs. I kind of feel like there aren't going to be many of those. Let's see, mods, pets, rank manager, chat effects, teleport settings. Hmm. Has anybody even seen any mobs? Whoa! Beastman, six seventeen with five dollars Streamlab donation. Hey there, Ted. The excitement for the next mail vid is getting real over on Discord. Ooh, yeah, I believe it. That video is slated to come out a week from today, because we gotta edit it and stuff too. But yeah, we're really excited about that. Hey, I found some seeds! If we can make a composter, we can speed up the process and we can start getting like a big food farm for everybody. We can get some bone meal. Yeah, teamwork, building the house. We're gonna build something way cooler than this garbagey monstrosity that was here when we got in here. We're gonna have like legit awesomeness. Okay, I'm gonna plant the seeds that we have into the ground where seeds thrive oh so well. few tools um, let's see I need to make some labs right and then we should be able to make a composter how do you make the composter again 
Where are you, composter? Hey! <laughs> if people attack me, they will probably get killed by the loyal basement dwellers. <laughs> okay. Can you even build a composter in this? Hey, wood! Thank you, buddy the dog! All right. Barrels? They got barrels. Look at the fun. I wonder if composters are like taken out to save space. Oh, there we go. All. Oh. Seems like it'd be a weird thing to, to leave out. Considering people actually use composters. What? What is Lifeboat? So it's a it's a it's an open free server for everybody. And I was like, let's try let's try playing on a free server so every literally everybody who wants to can join. Um if you're playing on a switch, you can go over to servers and it'll be there. Lifeboat, and then from inside there you can select survival world. Hey, have a great night, Arcadia. Thanks for hanging out. I'm legit confused though about this whole composter situation that must not exist because I was pretty sure you build it out of slabs by doing like that what okay well that works I just built it with my brain I you is it not allowed why can't I place no one's lagging out. It must not allow composters. So what are we supposed to do for food? We're all starving to death over here. There are no fish. There are no mobs. There are jars. There's mushrooms. Mushrooms. We can make a hearty mushroom soup for everyone. Oh, maybe I am lagging out a little bit. Because I can't pick up these mushrooms. Yes, welcome new viewers. Glad you guys are here with us today. Yeah, okay. Anybody figure out a food solution here? This is zombie dying over there. Here, I'm gonna head back over to that area where we were. I'm just surprised there's like no way to make food. You saw two pigs, but they're gone now. And it doesn't look like um, plants grow. Or if they do, like, we can plant them, but I, it doesn't look like... Uh, maybe they are maturing? It's hard to tell. Cat, thanks for hanging out. You take care. And thank you again for the super chat donation. Ooh, this house is coming along nice. I'm, uh... I'm in a, I'm 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 in favor of it. What's cooking in here? Some char some coal is cooking in there. Hmm. I wish I could just eat seeds. Pets? No pets actually make Oh. Whoa, hey, where did you get that? How did you get the cooked beef? Oh my gosh. Woohoo! I'm not starving anymore, but how did you do that? <laughs> okay. Now we can go back to building house. Okay. 
It was in a chest. Oh, maybe things are in chests. Okay, interesting. Bum, 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 Stop asking. Yay! Everybody's helping each other. Although this slab's gonna be a problem. So apparently, if you run around and you look in chests, you can find foods. Okay, I just used the command server, SM110. SM110. Thanks, John Pounds. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm very much a server noob. Yes. Woohoo! All right, we need to keep going up. We need to just keep going up with this bad boy because we got to make a tower for all of us to live in. Hey, aren't you the person from the Zelda glitch video? I sure am, Ganon. How are you doing today? Aren't you the bad guy from Zelda's? Zelda games? <laughs> Nearly 50 likes. Yeah, hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button. Super helps out the stream. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, I, d I didn't know anything about how to notify people how to come find come find us. And now I don't think you need to be friend. My friends list is full, and now I don't think you need to actually be friends with me in order to join. Wee wee! I'm gonna get some more dark oak. I want this house to have a little bit of uh, theme to it. Hey, Hitchko, thank you so much for subscribing. So, Dragon Kitty, um, I think one of our, uh, somebody in the chat probably knows how to help you to be able to join. I don't know. Whoa, we just jumped up hey, to you. a bunch of likes. Yeah, you. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing. And 50 rupees for everybody in the chat for hitting 50 likes. If we can get up to 100 viewers all at once, everybody in the chat is going to get 200 rupees. You sub, but it didn't say you did. Streamlabs alert box should work. Oh. Yeah, the, the alert box should be working. Yeah, because I got the, when somebody did the Streamlabs donation. Weird. Sorry if we missed that. I give up for now. I got killed because I got stuck. Oh no. <laughs> In an alternate universe, am I called the living room? Yeah, and I uh, traveled across universes to chat in my own streams. Yeah, we're, we're gonna deforestate this dark oak forest. And then we're gonna build a tower up to the heavens because together we can accomplish anything. Surely nothing bad could come from this, like all of us beginning to speak in different languages and being separated over uh, the entire world. That's the kind of humor you can expect in the basement Monday through Friday. 
Also on Saturdays. <laughs> well, thank you, Hitchigo. Yeah, we had a really we have we've had a lot of fun making uh, funny moments videos, glitch stuff that we found, or uh, or just like ragdoll physics blowing Link up, rolling him down hills. We have a great time. There's a block limit. Yeah, if you want to join, you may need to uh, Google it. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Dragon Knight. <laughs> Saw me punching a tree. Here, take this axe, you poor soul. <laughs> I just got carried away. I was having so much fun cutting down this tree. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean obviously there's a block height limit. Yeah. You're 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 right about that. Yeah, I, I wish I could help you, Dragon Kitty, but I'm also a super noob as well. Yeah. To a servers anyway. I mean I've played plenty of Minecraft, but But I guess we're on SM110 on the Lifeboat server, so if you open up and you go to servers, you'll see like the Hive and Mineplex and a few different options on there. We're on one called Lifeboat. So Anna, I don't know how to TP you. The only reason I've been TPing people is because they like request a TP to me. And then it pops up. So that's the only reason I know. <laughs> that's a good question, Anna. I kind of wonder if it's in this book, maybe? Um, nope. I think maybe slash TP teleports TPA uh, Okay. So you have to know my name, but uh, if you just type in forward slash TPA space and then basement space Ted, uh, it will send me a request and you can TP to where I am. All right, I've got tons of dark oak. Let's make this happen. Let's make it rain dark oak. Everybody grab some. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Distributing dark oak. All right, let's get up on this house. Keep going up to the heavens. Ted, I've been wondering this for a while. How do you do the Kermit voice, Kermit the Frog voice so well? Hey, somebody figured out the TP. Nicely done. Well, um... So the way that I do voices is, I think about it a lot more like... Ooh, somebody just down there killing my friends. <laughs> Who is that? Um, I do voices thinking kind of like musically, so I, I try to think of like the uh, kind of melodic tones of the voice so I try to try to sort of match you know like Kermit the Frog he doesn't just talk like that he also has a certain musical you know cadence to his voice I guess is a good way to put it <laughs> there's Tom Nook <laughs> Ooh.
It's going to be a giant monument to all basement kingdom. Nothing on the top but a bucket and a mop. And an illustrated book about nerds. And then uh, whoever wants to, you guys can grab some like stairs and you can actually build... You can build some other levels on the inside of this. So we have like, I don't know, a tower with multiple levels, almost like an apartment building maybe. So, um, back to the Kermit to the Frog thing. So, sort of does this. Well, maybe not that, <laughs> maybe not that weird, but like. Okay, and then once I have the tone, like the tonal sort of melodic thing down, then I just add the throaty. Because like Kermit the Frog actually has a really similar voice to like a lot of characters in the Muppets. Like if you think about it, just now when I was just going Waka Waka Waka, you know, then it, now all of a sudden it's Fozzie Bear. But as soon as you have the Kermit the Frog here, he hangs out on his R's quite a bit. Oh, piggy. <laughs> there are those people that just keep killing people. That's that, you know, they got a they got a flex that they know how to kill people in Minecraft. <laughs> I don't know if this tower is uh tall enough. <laughs> I think we should keep going. Oh, I'm going to hit the ceiling. been watching you for a year or two nearly daily you're always so funny and peter too while link flopping is even funnier too it added my interest to your channel which brought well D dylan brian thank you so much for being a regular viewer of the channel and for speaking up too i think uh a lot of people forget that you know youtube is a place where you can really plug into a community you know and not just sort of watch random videos a lot of people just watch random videos but dylan you're a good example of you you watched us and you're hanging on a live stream you're talking to us that's that's fun stuff when we get to do that thank you for trying to help alex i know that it, it may not work but it's at least, uh, at least we're trying. <laughs> Zek, are you a good example? Uh, when you're not being a troll, yeah, you're a great example. <laughs> uh, you should be able to join on any, uh, any platform that is, that does bedrock. So you should be able to join on a Switch, or I think even on Pocket Edition. Uh, you just go to the servers section. It says, like, uh, worlds, friends, and servers. And then once you're in the servers section, you'll click on lifeboat. That's that's the server that we're playing on. And then the, the world that we're playing in is SM110. Oh, my gosh. Everybody down there is getting slain by that pumpkin cape guy. Kind of makes me want to like just call like all the basement people together to team up on pump on pumpkin cape guy. All right, we're gonna turn these oak. <laughs> I'll call it commands. Everybody attack epic prp one zero one. He's wearing a a pumpkin or like a orange creeper cape. Everybody get him. I don't know who it is, but they're killing everybody. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> the things we can accomplish. Look at us.
Oh, Keeper's Heart is trying to kill us in here too. Uh oh, I died. <laughs> That's what I get. Uh, don't TP to me. I'm like really far away from everything happening here. Um, I got a few blocks to go. TPA Ozzy Gamer. Oh, sweet. Ha ha! Wonderful. Hey, <laughs> I don't really care if I have stuff. The important thing to me is that we, uh, if somebody comes in here and starts, like, killing all of our basement dweller friends, we need to team up on them and take them all out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the goodies. Yes. Zelda Pro, what's up? All right, uh, let's build a staircase that can go up here. Dylan Bryan, thank you so much for becoming a member. Everybody, hashtag down below for Dylan Bryan. And I don't have a specific thing for new members, but I do have something for a new patron, which will play in your honor. Dylan Bryan, this is for you. Thank you, Dylan Bryan. Very much appreciated. Hmm. I should be able to make steps out of these planks, right? Why can't I make this? St oh, because I'm looking at everything, not just craftables. Okay. Okay, let's do some steps here. <laughs> oh no! I laid these wrong. Yes! To the heavens with us! Do, do, do. Very much appreciated for you. You're supporting my interest in one of my favorite games ever, even more than Minecraft, which I have played for double the time. Dude, Minecraft and Breath of the Wild. My two favorite games, by far. They're the games that I'm just going to always go back to, I think. Of course, Breath of the Wild 2 could be a contender, right? Yeah. All right, let's get this here. I bet they don't allow you to grow food, and anything that allows you to grow food is like off limits. What's up, highest dust? Yes, you can join Ethan McCain. Just go into your game, go to lifeboat servers. And then we are on SM110. I don't know what that means, but that's what people tell me. <laughs> this is my first time on one of these uh, survival multiplayer world uh, open servers. So, whoa, hello. Hey, what's up, Tom Nook? Good to see you. <laughs> I was like, I'm thinking to myself, like, usually when people come on to a server like this, I'm guessing it's just mostly chaos and people can't really accomplish much. And we're like building a giant building and it's like pretty, I don't know, There's it's relatively organized up here. I'm, it's got to look pretty strange from, you know, I'm guessing there are mods on the server and stuff too. Yes, game's breaking. Come on up. Woohoo! Welcome to the basement 
towers. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, let's take over this thing. That seems like a good idea. Woohoo! Sorry, I accidentally hit whoever's in this chicken costume highest dust. Sorry, I hit you in the back. Okay. All right, we have commandeered the top of this castle. And I'm going to just make it nicer with some steps. And then we just need to... Hmm. How do we connect this? Any good stuff in those chests? We're trying to see how big of a th cool, coolish thing we can make before the end of the stream. What's up, Ozzy Gamer? Good to see ya. Hi, Flooded Philly. What's up, Games Breaking? Okay, um, um... I don't suppose we can plant trees either. I'm guessing it's sort of what you find is what you have. Whoa, that person's got a pretty cool looking thing going down there, that little castle. Well, how do we make this cooler? How do we make this, uh, how do we make this more awesome? Differ Dragon, just open up your game, go to servers, go to lifeboat, and then uh, we are in the survival mode section, and we are, Number 110 is the the world that we're in. I don't know how to... Ah! Oh, I MLG blocked. I don't know how much that helped me, but it surf certainly felt cool. Can we all climb up? Is this all working? Oh yeah, this, ooh, I like that. This is good, this is good. Very good little water, little waterfall here. Looks like a little, almost looks like the beginning of a AFK fish farm here. Maybe make an on-screen text box with how to join info. That's not a bad idea. Let's try that. Here, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna make a how to join info. You guys can definitely dance in my screen, for those of you who want to do that. Um, and an illustrated book about birds. Text box. Where should I put it? Maybe top right corner? Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't want to add a scene here. I want to add a color source. Sure. Whoa, hello. Giant white. Um, okay, I'm gonna try my best here. Um, add text. Sure. Join lifeboat. Bedrock server server survival mode SM one ten. Okay. This is all I know, so I don't know how much it's really going to help. <laughs> Just giant, big, giant text. There. Does that look a little bit better there, uh, Beastman? 
I noticed you guys are having to answer that question a lot, so that was a smart idea. Yeah, you should be able to join on a Switch, as long as it's Bedrock, right? Which it is. This is a pretty cool area up here. Curious when that opens up. It's a chest in here. Seemingly nothing good in it. We probably need to make some more ladders to be able to turn that into a thing where we can get up there. Hmm, that fence is a cool idea, but it doesn't look all that great there. All right, let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna make a bunch of fence posts and we'll, we'll put them around kind of the edge, not like as a fence, but like as little parapets. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but we're gonna say it is. Fence, fence, fence. What's up, Fire Drake? Good to see ya. No name. The basement. <laughs> I wonder if that's considered self promotion in a server. <laughs> Ted, how do I select SMs? That's that's something I don't know how to do, Differ Dragon. Hmm. You can't join the entire lifeboat server. Oh no. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we take. Really? Really? We're locked in? <laughs> Teamwork! We'll eventually... Get... Hey! Ozzy. I don't know what that was all about, but people made me very sad. Let's see. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know why you put that obsidian will probably be there forever now. Oh, everybody's working together to get rid of it now? <laughs> Teamwork! Everybody work together to get rid of the obsidian. I'm gonna come in through here. Come on in, Ozzy. Or not? Okay.
Hey, we got one. We broke one. Nice. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> this is what teamwork looks like, folks. Guys, I'm not here. <laughs> Stop asking. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm proud of you, basement dwellers, for chipping away at the old block. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, no. People walking in. Oh, we're starting to get like a too many cooks in the kitchen sort of situation here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Trying to find an opening. Oh, no. Will we ever be able to break this? I don't even know how we broke the first one. Yeah! Woo! Celebration! <laughs> Hit give her place. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we defeated the obsidian block. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need to... Do I still have coal? I do. We need torches. I'm going to make a bunch of torches. Who wants some torches? Uh, let's see. Here's a bunch of torches for you. All right, light it up, folks. Ours will be a tower that glows for the ages. How many dwellers does it take to smash an obsidian block? Yes, oh, this is gorgeous. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ooh, <gasps> in the basement. Someone's been working on a basement. I want to see. I wonder if there's any iron down here. Nice. I love your the basement. In the basement. Let's go down a little deeper. Because I saw people with iron tools and iron armor and stuff. It's got to be possible. Um, Differ Dragon, apparently, like, I have too many friends and it won't let me do anymore. Like, it won't let me add anymore. <gasps> Ooh! I found a shaft. We got charcoal down here. The basement has a basement in the basement. I love it. Got some gold. We can't get that until we have an iron pickaxe. Trying to get down to diamond level. Ooh, there are a lot of people down here now in the basement. Little little lower will get us down to diamond level. A little further down. I wonder if there's any iron ore. Like it looks like. I mean, I haven't seen any. <laughs> Ozzy's lighting the way. <laughs> Thank you, Ozzy. <laughs> Do 
We assure you are more <laughs> bone shatteringly funny than a bag of applesauce. I'm just mad at a clop bag <laughs> of apples. Iron! Yes! Ozzy! We found iron. We found a whole bunch of iron. Yeah! We gotta harvest, and then we gotta cook it. You guys, you should try to suit me up, make me like an OP... ...suited up character. Let's see, can we make a... I suppose we could just... ...build a furnace down here, huh? Let's build a couple. There are guys with full diamond attacking up top. Oh no, that's really dangerous. Um, let's build a little place to to smelt a smeltery. Here, I'll give you like half of it to get it sorted out. All right, we're cooking. We're cooking with gas now. And I'm gonna, we're gonna see if we can find some more by digging. Whoa! What the heck? Hmm, ranks. Okay, no. I wonder if people can pay to get stuff. Oh! Oh no, it's this SM selector. Yeah, I just found the people in full diamond armor. They totally slayed us. Oh, I died down there big time. Hey, look, a creeper. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, I think. I think I'm going the wrong way, or the right way now. Yeah, you guys can TPA to me if you want. Thank you so much for subscribing, Appreciative Arts. Welcome to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. I found apples. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Thanks for subscribing. Well. There were apples there, and now they're gone. Oh, I love your Baby Yoda sweater! That's really awesome, Flooded Philly. Hey, someone named Cyber. Thank you so much for subscribing. I wish there was like a way to have a food source. This game's kind of ridiculous. There's no way to eat, and then you get all hungry, and then you can't do anything. It's like a hunger game. The uh, bald guy who keeps popping up on screen, that's Peter. He's the other guy who is the basement with me. wonder if there are any brown mushrooms. We could make mushroom stews for everyone. I'm only seeing red mushrooms in here, though. We're moving so slowly because no food. Yes. P 
Peter is the smarter one of the two of us, and I'm the funnier one. <laughs> uh, I laugh, but it's true. Uh, Winter Sloth, if you friend request me, it won't work because my friends list is full on this server. I do remember playing Oregon Trail. That was super fun, Dylan. We had a great time with that series. I think I'm headed in the right direction because we're in a dark oak forest here. Wow. What is that? Just a giant obsidian wall? The heck? Yeah, I think Mario 64 co-op is a series that I go back to over and over again because it's so fun and we had such a great time that like you can just tell that we were having a blast recording it um you know what I should have done is I should have made my spawn point there I think I'm gonna make it uh save position as spawn okay we'll save it this one as spawn for now Should we try doing something else in Lifeboat? I mean, I don't know. I I, I generally dislike minigames, like, very much. And I'm super bad at them, but we could try. Can someone TPE to Basement HQ? I'm trying to get back there. But we all died, so we all got spread all over the place. But now I'm moving so slowly, ugh. Because of no food, and there's no way to get f stinking food in this server. Oh, we can TP to Ozzy, okay. Haha! -ha! Did you survive that onslaught? There we go. You guys can TP to me. I'm back near the headquarters now. Down in the mines where we all died. Ah! Yeah! Ow! Oof! 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 Alright. Back up to the top. Oh, you didn't. You just came back. I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, I was still quite a bit away. I was still pretty far away. Oh, now I'm starving. Ooh, apples! There, now this is spawn. Mmm, 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 mmm. Lunch. Hi. Hi, Highest Dust. Hi, Zelda Pro. What's up, Games Breaking and Flooded Philly? <laughs> yes, if you want to join, up there. That's all we know how to help you with. Because we're all sort of newbie at this. Dude, this uh, this building became slight, slightly large. And it connects up with that weird thing. Oh, you need some food? There, here's some apples. Whoa, geez, everybody's so gener- Look at this! Look at this crazy generosity of all of the food items! Wow. The basement is the bomb. You know... You know what we could do? Hmm...
Let's see. You guys think we should try and play a mini game? What do you think? Should we do a mini game? Uh, no, this server is a bedrock. Bed Wars. I know people like some Bed Wars. Who is that guy? He's got a diamond sword. I want to follow him discreetly. Oops. Apparently, I want to throw my pork on the ground. You guys follow me. We're going to team up on this guy. He's underwater. Oh, he's gone. He came in just to just to kill somebody and then he left. He was like down in the water. Uh oh, this doesn't look like a friendly situation. It's just like a big glob of people. Yeah, that dude with the diamond sword and the iron armor pieces, like, just disappeared. All of these pogo players are running around killing people. Whoa! Hey! I reset my spawn point somewhere else and it still brought me here. That's a little broken. Hey, uh, guys, we're gonna go try a mini game. So, I don't think you do save and quit. Maybe, maybe you do. Let's see, save and quit? Oh no, it actually made me leave the lifeboat. Okay, going back into lifeboat. And I'm going to have to change my text up here. Let's see about playing Bed Wars. Woo! Two, four teams of two. Four teams of four. Let's do two teams of twelve, because then we're more likely to be able to play together, right? Is that how that works? This doesn't look like I'm in Bed Wars. Tutorial? Oh, a match starting in 30 seconds. Okay. So yeah, now I'm in the Bed Wars server in the two teams of 12. So I'm going to change that text set up lifeboat bedrock server bed wars two teams of 12 and and uh ooh chaos mode okay i'm just going to stand here for a second because i need to do this bw23 dot lbsg dot net not clever today donated five dollars to streamlabs base mullet base mullet base mullet <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at bed wars. You take these items and you trade them in for other items. I have three bricks.
Okay, spawner levels one, two, three. We gotta just get a bunch of stuff, right? Okay. Okay. I'm learning bed wars. We'll get better at it. I'm guessing other people on the team know more what they're doing. I know you like you collect these points and you upgrade your your thingies by talking to this guy. Um blocks enchanting special items miscellaneous. No, we just Spawner level one tap to upgrade for six gold. Where do you get the gold? There was lightning over there. Let's see. Um, Thirty two. I'm gonna do this, because I've seen people do this before. Protect the bed. Oh, we have a few bed items. There, this way they have to dig to get to the bed. Maybe they can give can give us a chance to kill them or something like that if they're trying to kill us. Some of these bricks. So I'm guessing we find gold out there. Because... You do run out of inventory space. You have to, like, build chests and stuff, living room. Bow. So you need gold and iron. Do we have a gold place that drops gold? Here, uh, I suppose I should just, I should give my iron to somebody who knows what they're doing with it. So I'm very newbie. That can be the thing that I do to help. going on over there there's like XP balls oh he's giving himself EXP I'm 
trying to help him, but he's pretty busy. Got one of our beds so stinking bad at this. Err. Ah! Ah! Command. Okay, we'll try that again. Server says bw23.lbsg.net. Let me, uh,. I mean, we're about to die from beds getting destroyed anyway. Oh, hey, we, our places are protected-ish. One of our beds is gone, but... Okay, I'm gonna put those there. And I'm gonna stand here. And I'm gonna see if I can get that server command up on there. BW23. And then dot LBSG. There. Now this that's what I that's what returns to me when I put in the server command. I don't understand where we get the gold ingots. Oh, okay. I can get some stuff. I can get an iron sword this way. Oh, we lost. I'm going to hide my head in shame. Okay. Yeah, I know. I got to get weapons. Okay. Hey, Ozzy. Good job. Never mind, you died four times, Ozzy. <laughs> uh, return to lobby? If you want to join, that's the information up there. When you're losing, just hide. Wait, I didn't want to... Yeah, okay. Alright. We're going to go here again. And we're gonna do chaos mode, two teams of 12. Okay, I think I can upgrade my armor. I just don't, where did he get the gold stuff, guys? Not the best fan of Bed Wars because it feels grindy, but other than that, it's super fun. I like. I have no idea what I'm doing with Bed Wars. I know it, like things pop up and you can get the deals, but like I don't understand how to get a gold ingot. Looks like the best stuff you need gold for it, right? So how do you get that? Match is starting. Guys, I'm not here. Let's go Stop ahead and get some asking. brick. 12 already. Okay. 10 brick. 
back. Let's get weapon. Okay, I've got red armor on now. So that's good. This is where the iron's gonna be. Hey, Player Royale, I'm Ted, but uh, Peter's doing well too, and I'm doing great. Okay, if, if you really wanna get in there and get that iron, go for it. All right, I got three iron ingots. What can I get for that? Uh, three iron ingots will get me a stone sword. Okay, it's better than nothing. Whoa, Streamlabs donation to answer your question. Gold is found in the middle area you have to build out to it. Base mullet, base mullet, base. There comes the base mullets. Base mullet, base mullet, base mullet. Base mullet, base mullet, base mullet, base mullet, hash base mullet. Oh, I killed somebody! Thank you so much for the $10 super chat! Oh, I really appreciate that. Not, uh, not required, but always appreciated. Whoa, 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 new stream boss. IT Mexican game one. This is for you. And we're back. And I'm kind of standing guard here. They're going for it. I don't understand how they can walk on nothing. How did... How are they walking on nothing? And when I tried to jump out on nothing, they weren't there. Illegal head kick for the win. You got that right. And thank you so much for that ten dollars super chat. I, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen you before. Welcome. How are you doing today? It's I, it Mexican. What did it's Mexican game one? How are you doing today? It Mexican game one. Oh, it's lag? We've got five irons now. This is kind of cool. When everybody's not at the base, you can get powered up pretty quickly.
No. Oh, we destroyed one of their beds. Haha, -ha, we're winning. I'm so good at this. <laughs> uh. Armor. Okay, I can get the chain. And weapons. I mean, I can get a wooden sword. Man, this brick is really not good. Back. Um, blocks. We can buy a bunch of blocks. Let's do that. Oh, these are the gold spawners. Oh, yeah. I want to go and upgrade the spawners back at base. Gosh, this game is so flippin' hard. Okay. I don't think there's anybody in the center now. There's definitely a blue guy in there. People running all over the place trying to fight over the gold. Let's see if I can sneak around. guy doesn't know that there's a red guy right behind him. Ha 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 ha! I did something worthwhile! I'm in your base, killing your dudes! I won the game for us! <laughs> yeah, baby! Wait.
I think. Did I? Did I win? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm confused though. I thought we won. Oh, we have way more players. Oh, that's right. Once all the beds are gone, once all the beds are gone, now they can just die. And when they die, they're out. You have to kill everyone to win. Yeah, let's go! Poggers! <laughs> Okay. N is for no survivors. <laughs> Wonderful. Poggers. Oh, I'm proud of myself. I am proud of myself. Does Ted or Peter go on voice chat sometimes? Um, I do go on voice chat and Discord a little bit here and there. Whoa, okay. Okay, I could get into bed wars. I'm gonna do it again. Once once you've won, right? Chaos mode. I like chaos mode. Oh, uh, Dawson, I'm definitely playing Breath of the Wild 2 when it comes out. Three, two, one. In the next game. Oh, it's this map again. We're going to get to the center real fast. What are my theories for the timeline? I feel like for Breath of the Wild 2, um, they're going to make it a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild 1, which is kind of a hero's, hero falls timeline, right? Um, but because then we also had the uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, thing, which was a hero wins timeline. Just surprised more people didn't like notice that that's what it was all about. got more people hanging out in the center here You jerk! Oh, I thought I made it so we couldn't. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, we are Minnesota people for sure. All right, I got enough for the chainmail armor. Everybody's waiting in line. Okay. Uh, armor. Okay. I want to really be able to upgrade the uh, the the iron spawners back at base. I feel like that'd be really helpful for everybody. Six. We just need six. Once I have six, I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna upgrade. There's a red guy coming. All right, I'm doing okay. Got six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm bringing these golds back for other people on our team. One blue bed remains, isn't that us?
Okay, I think I might have enough for arrows. I put on red armor and blend in. I can. Okay. A lot of people on my team are dead, but I have 32 arrows and a bow now. So that's good. I know, they can see my name tag, but... I'll do this. Apparently I still have a bunch of gold too. Maybe I can get a better armor set. Only two blues left. I got him, but I died. <laughs> no. <laughs> hundred likes everybody in the chat gets 50 rupees that's the kind of humor you can expect well done everybody also on Saturday <sighs> okay <clears throat> oh oh okay so for the uh, the rest of the stream I'm actually gonna change the name of the title of the stream because the stress level is fun, but it's too much. So I'm going to actually go over to Minecraft on our Patreon only realm. Playing on Basement Craft, our patron only realm. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get out of this server and we're actually gonna log into the basements realm because oh I can't feel my fingers. I need something that's more chill. <laughs> Owen uh, what am I uh, so the so the patreon only realm is joinable by people who are members of members of our patreon page. You can click that link there to check that out. Um, Becoming a Patreon at the $2 level would give you access to the realm, although I actually have to like add you in, and it's a little bit of a process, so people who want to play in the Patreon realm with us are welcome to do so, but I wouldn't be able to add you in to the realm, like whitelist you, until after the stream. So I just want to make sure you know, like, like ooh, I want to become a patron so I can play tonight. That's not going to happen. I, I wouldn't be able to add you in uh, before time was up, or not time was up, before the stream was over. Come on, it's being a little laggy on me here. Let's get the stuff that we uh, need. And I should change that text up at the top because we're not joinable anymore. Um, patrons can play with me on the realm. There, we'll change it to that. 
I'll make that text a little bit bigger so people can see that. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> the lag is not my fault this time. Um, I want to show you guys, I built a creeper farm t today. <gasps> There's a spot where a stupid bony bad guy can spawn in here. But this creeper farm is amazing because look at all of that gunpowder I can get, making my elytra suddenly a lot more useful. <laughs> Not my lag. <laughs> Not my lag, but yours be done. Yeah, this uh, this creeper farm is great. It produces about a thousand uh, gunpowder per hour. So that's really, really great. Um, I don't think I need to fix that bone bad guy up there right now. I can take care of that situation at a later date. Let's go check out the rest of the realm. Ooh. Right, I'm going to grab some of my sugar cane, grab some more paper and make a ton more rockets. Yep, a thousand per AFK hour. It's a really good creeper farm. It only has three uh, spawn platforms too, only three levels. <clears throat> hey Ted, this is a kid friendly channel. Did I say something bad? <clears throat> I'd be very surprised if I did. How did I make the creeper farm? Oh, that's a good question. So I'll fly out there so I can show y'all what's all entailed in it. So it's three spawn platforms. Let's see here. Maybe I can get in there without. <clears throat> I'm gonna break through one layer here. Hopefully this doesn't end in misery. Okay. So there are three spawn platforms. It's pretty basic. Um, except, so you have these cats here, which scare the creepers right off the edge and down into the collection area, which is a pretty normal collection area. There goes one right now, Woo! right down in there. These buttons are important. You space them out this way. There's a great uh, tutorial online. And then you put trap doors across all of the ceiling as well. So yeah. Um, let's see, how do I get out of here? That'll work. Let's put everything back the way we found it. Wonder if I can fix it from the top. Ooh, I can. Wonderful. Down, down at the bottom, the kill platform, you can do killing any way you want, but for creepers. But uh, what I have is a hopper set up on top of the hoppers. I have two hopper mine carts diagonally uh, placed from each other. On top of the hopper mine carts, I have leaves. And then I have a four piston clock system pushing around a trident on the, on the leaves so it kills them instantly and the trident uh, doesn't wear out because it's just being pushed around by the pistons. Yeah, this is actually bedrock. This is my old creeper farm, which is, it took a lot of work and it doesn't work at all. Oh, and I built it out over the ocean, as you can see. So it actually doesn't have a lot of issues. <clears throat> Yeah, like this is a creeper farm. Look, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no gunpowder in it. No gunpowder. No gunpowder. How did you make a sky fortress? Well, I, I, I pillared up with a lot of nether, nether rack. I had a lot of nether rack lying around. We need piper, mole piper, mole piper. 
Fireworks, 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 fireworks. There we go. Oh, it feels so good to be able to have fireworks again. All right, let's get back to the uh, spawn area. Oh, it talks about killing. I see. Well, killing bad guys, killing creepers, you gotta kill the creepers. You gotta use them for their goodies. <clears throat> um, here's what I wanna do in the basement realm is there's a massive hallway where a lot of offshoots come off. We have this really fantastic um, nether tunnel system. But my son built this amazing uh, packed ice boat tunnel that goes this fast, if not maybe even a little faster, and it doesn't use any rockets. Of course, now that I have unlimited rockets, it really isn't a problem anymore. But <clears throat> So, Psy Guy, uh, you can check out the link that one of our mods are going to pop in to the chat right now. Uh, Patreon membership will get you in. Uh, I specifically, I can't do channel members because it is really hard to generate a list off of YouTube, strangely enough, of channel members. So yeah, specifically Patreon. So here's our spawn. Look at this. We're in the middle of rebuilding. We have a renovation project going on. If you guys know who Do So Confidently is, that's a, an old base that she had, but we're going to leave it there. To, uh, to honor and represent the awesomeness that is do so confidently. And maybe we'll get that rebuilt a little bit more. Do so confidently central. Then we have a uh, jail over here made by Ashes Dashes. Pretty awesome looking area. Looks like it's got a lot of potatoes in the jail. So that's cool. I've actually never really explored this jail. I don't know what it's all about. Oh, carrots. It's carrots farm in there. And here, a little doorway. Ashes Dashes is one of our patrons, as well as also another uh, content creator. Ooh, this looks cool in here. <clears throat> oh, and we got a cheap panda making their way in here. Hello. I knew we'd probably have a couple uh, patrons popping in. Why, hello. Good to see you, cheap panda. <clears throat> Welcome to the realm. And we got this amazing basement couch. I'm going to give you guys a good aerial view of it. This was created. It was kind of a joint effort between a lot of people. I know Ashes Dash has put a lot of work into it, but check this out. Look at that basement couch. It's glorious. And then over here, we are prepping for a build battle. I'm really excited about this. The month of February, our patrons are going to be... Uh, building with a Zelda theme and then Peter and I are going to judge the creations and dole out prizes for for the creations that are going to be made in there and each of the patrons is going to be getting a square the ones that want to participate we may have too many squares we might not have enough I, we'll, we'll find out I suppose but that's what's going on down there with all the colors so that's going to be amazing. Yeah, what a great build build area. Some some uh, awesome visionary person went down in there. <laughs> that was Alex, everybody. You can tell Alex, thank you for making such an awesome build area. Oh my gosh, you, you dumb bad guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at this. Ooh, we've got end chests already set up by them. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Just wow. Those phantoms are the most annoying thing. And I don't have a sword. Out of all the things, a sword is one of them that I don't have. Actually, I might. Nope, not in my end chest either. I don't even have a way to make sticks. 
t a lot of shovels there. I'm going to take one piece of wood. Don't tell anybody. Is there a crafting table? Okay, I'm going to take two pieces of wood. Don't tell anybody. One time you're playing Minecraft and died. Oh, no. That sounds terrible. I knew you were coming for me. Could smell you a mile away with your rotting skin. Oh my gosh. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and a pillager raid. Watch out, Chi Panda. There's a there's a pillager raid happening like right behind you. Okay, I just want a sword. Sword. We got a few people on. Animator Gamer Plays is here. Ozzy's on. Wonderful. Now you can say someone raided your stream tonight. Because <laughs> this is bad. The bad guys. The pillager raid. So that's what's going on there. I'm excited. The build battle, the creations will start going up February 1st, which is Monday. And then on March 1st, or like beginning of March, Peter and I are going to judge. And then we will award the prizes. We are thinking about doing um, free basement merch. Uh... Some, some way to give away free basement merch to the winners. So, we figured that would be pretty fun. Over here is where we had the old build battle area. And there's no mistaking it. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. High five, and there's Christina from Do So Confidently. This is Lucas the Pie Guy over here, everybody. Look at some of the cool creations that were made. Some of them have been taken down since, but this one was my fave. Look at this. It's stinking Majora's Mask Moon up in the sky, just ready to crash. And this is the make the telescope and if you go downstairs amazing look at that that's Paul Eford Build Battle Pie! Dude, that's gonna be so much fun. And then check out this thing that uh, Lucas the Pie Guy made. Big fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas. And on the inside, it even plays, this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Inside of the head. Let's see if I can get in there through the mouth. Ow! Lucas, thank you so much for the super chat donation. Everybody get the hashtag going down below for Lucas the Pie Guy. My day is going really great, entrepreneur boy. Welcome. How is your day going today? Ooh, and that's right, we made a... We made a hospital because it was the uh, beginning. You guys, this is the beginning of the whole uh, lockdowns and quarantining and stuff. We made a hospital. Do you remember this? It's like a cafeteria <laughs> in there. And then we played like hide and seek in here. And I'm pretty sure it's either Alex. Or it was Roth who was digging around in the tunnels like a creepy mole. I think it might have been both of you guys doing that. Uh, 
Ugh, I don't like being underneath the hospital. For some reason, being down here in this part of the of the map gives me the creeps. Because I know I'm underneath the hospital. It feels much better to be up here. It was Roth? Yeah. It was one of them. <laughs> Look at this cafeteria! There's little plates of food and stuff. This is awesome. And it was a... We all we built it in one stream. It was a really great group effort. Everybody came together. A lot of materials were donated. You weren't online that night? Okay, it must have been Roth then. Man, we got quite the area going on. Ooh, this was our first thing that we tried to do in a stream together. It failed pretty pretty horribly. That Master Sword Zelda logo. That was bad. Much bigger and it might have worked. Finding this, of course you are able. Oh, that was right. Somebody left a, uh, a riddle for us to follow. Go on the moon? Okay, done. Let's do it. Also, we started and we didn't finish, but I would love to finish it at some point. Building a, a real, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take a liberty here and we're going to go in it. Ooh, this is what's like in the moon. <laughs> Woohoo, we got to fix it though. Always have to repair what you break. This moon is hollow. Maybe the real moon is hollow. I heard that it resonates like a bell. People don't know for sure. Um, over, I think it's this way. Past the build battle area. So yeah, we still have to like fill out this spawn. I have a couple ideas what we could do for the spawn area too. Um, I think it's just a little further over here. Yes, Clock Town. We were working on building Clock Town. We didn't finish, but we definitely got a start on it. There's the tower. That's the beginning of the giant moon. Have you heard of the hollow earth theory, but, but hollow moon? In space, no one can hear you scream. But yeah, check this out. We got this little area up here. The stairway will kind of go up as it wraps around in West Clock Town. We'll come up here. Got the tower. There'd be the little bird statue there to hit. Dude, yeah, this is going to be really great. We have to finish it, though. All we gotta do is have a couple streams where we make a, an event out of it and we'll get this thing finished. This was genius. Cause that's like the little Deku scrub flowers. We just gotta put those in the places where the flowers are. Wonderful idea. And then up in the moon, it's a really, really big project, but come on. We got a good start on it. Got a lot of materials still. More of a sub basement game, but have you played Half Life Alex? No, I have not, Christina. I'll have to check that out. Half Life Alex? What is this half broken base? Interesting. Oh, I want to know who's this area Buster. is. Because this is a huge project. <laughs> I don't know who started it, but it's gi stinking enormous. Clock Town is from Majora's Mask, Zelda Majora's Mask. There's no signs or anything, and it looks like whoever was here... 
Abandon it. This is Kenai's area? Oh, awesome! I should hang out with Keen sometime on here and help him build it out some more. This seems totally like a Kenai thing to do. Just a gigantic, like, ridiculously sized project. It's cool. I want to see it completed in all its glory. It was for a while he gave it up to build on an island by himself. That also seems like a very keen I think to do. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah, Clocktown would be really stellar. And this would be a, a it'd make a really good video for the basement too. Basically anytime we can mix Zelda and Minecraft together for a video is a really really good thing. So when this we finish it. this, we would Don't definitely make it a video and all of the people who helped make it would for sure be credited as well in that video and then we would uh it probably get a lot of views on YouTube honestly. People would a lot of people would check out Zelda builds in Minecraft. So Woo! So my next step, I guess, what I'm wanting to do for a little while here on the stream before we close it up, I want to try to find an area with a lot of packed ice. And I think I know where one is. But I'm going to have to go back to spawn, hop in the nether portal. Hey guys, you want to come with? What's up, Animator Gamer Plays? Good to see ya. Ah! Come on, let's go. Uh, we're gonna try to find an area with packed ice and then we're gonna need to get silk touch picks. Yeah, we gotta find an ice spikes biome. I think, I think I know where one is. Oh, check this out. Do so confidently and a, and a few other people went made this together it's a map but they just filled it in to actually make the logo incredible we re recreate one of the entire Zelda games all right so if we go off this way Um, so Lucas, what I want to do with the packed ice is I want to create, I want to turn this hallway all into packed ice for quite a ways. And we also need to do the same thing. Well, we should start on the hallway that goes out to death block, but I want to make these hallways packed ice because I've seen you can get cooking with the boats. Do so confidently. Thank you so much for that sticker. I love that sticker too. But I mean, I've got to find a lot of packed ice though. I mean, it's gonna, it's like 600 blocks. How far out? Um, let's see. We started at zero. And this is why I would like to do it. There we go. The rockets don't always work and then you just waste the rocket. Started at zero, needs to come out to about 600. So we'd need like 1200 to go out to here. And to get out to death block, we would need 3000. I have enough to do the death block trick four or five times. It's the glass that costs. So I wasn't thinking about putting glass on top. I was just thinking about providing boats in a chest at the beginning. Because if you ride a boat on that stuff, it's so stinking fast. And then you don't have to do the jumping thing. You don't use up any stamina. 3,000 plus 800. 
you have so much packed ice. Okay, Lucas, that's that's a way better idea than us finding the packed ice and harvesting it ourselves, if you're willing to share. Get out of here, you thing. Hey, Ozzy, what's up? Good to see you guys. Um, I just realized I don't have any food. Anybody have some food? <laughs> Ozzy's eating some pie. Ooh, a cookie. A couple cookies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I just needed a couple. Just needed a little bit. Just eat, just, just, just four friends eating cookies. Don't pay us no mind. Okay, come this way, guys. Oh, Entrepreneur Boy, you saw my animation on the Archangler Discord. Awesome. Oh, you have to line the walls with glass panes? Why? Oh, so the boat doesn't get stuck? Is that what that is? There is a chat bot, Aaron. Yeah, you can sprint in Minecraft. Like, you hold forward. So far, the fastest way that I've found to travel is fly with elytra and rockets in the nether, because then you multiply your distance that you're traveling by eight. I mean, this is really, really fast. No sword, no food, but a ton of rockets. Hey, that's all you need. All you need is rockets. Boats are wider than one block, keeps them but it keeps them centered ah well dude i can help we can help get the glass like if you provide that stuff i can we can find a desert we can go ham on getting you know a lot of people working together can get a lot of sand really fast because it would it would it would help all of us to be able to death like to be able to ice boat out to death block back and forth because that that's a long trip and part of the reason I don't make the trip very often is because and I just stay out at death block rather than come back to spawn all the time because it's so deadly I mean not deadly it's so long so so if you put glass on either side of a single block the boat doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be more than one wide. I see. Then it can the ice just be one wide. Let's head back. Let's head back into the spawn area. Um, well, we could quest for sand right now, but I have sweet. And Lucas, like, let me know how much, how much uh, glass you want us to, to provide for you, man. We'll make sure you get a ton. I'll break the ceiling at spawn so you can fly back and forth. Nice. All right. So here's what I want to do. Chi and the animator gamer plays. Since you guys are here, and I think Ozzy's here too, but I don't, I don't know where Ozzy went. Um, here's what I want to do with spawn. All right. I want to give each of the patrons an area of spawn to make like a cool building. To just have in here to fill this out because it's all a bunch of just empty space so what do you guys say does that sound like a good idea you guys can have oh ozzy left okay so you guys can have a space and since you guys are on right now you get to choose which like chunk of space you'd like to have to build in yeah yeah Sweet, and it'll be like your own little thing and we can name the building after you, so you will live on forever. Like if you see over here, I worked together with Dancing Kitty Cat and Zindar to make the basement fountain, and they and they will forever have their name on the fountain. So, where do you guys want to stake a claim? Looks like Chi's looking over in this area. There's a lot of there's a lot of space, and I would recommend taking Maybe like two chunks or four chunks, but not any more than that. So why don't you guys grab a bunch of torches and kind of let's mark off where 
Animator Gamer wants to go there. Okay, sweet. Why don't you grab a bunch of torches and kind of mark off a big square? Or kind of wherever the footprint is of the, the build you want to do. And uh, same for Cheap Panda. Why don't you grab some torches? I'll, I'll see if I can go uh, hijack some torches for us. And then in the Discord, we can um, we can lay out where everybody else gets to build as well. But since you guys were on, you get to choose. Sounds good to me, Cheap Panda. Got honey blocks there for some reason. Okay, I need to find torches really fast. Where am I going to find material for torches? Maybe at the build battle area? Gotta tell you, having Elytra and just being able to go wherever I want is just so awesome. Okay, a lot of concretes here. Nothing for torches there. Nothing for torches there. Hmm. Wait, I know. I know where there's torch stuff. Be right back. The original basement base. It was pretty bad, let me tell ya. Ah! Hey, Castrina and Beastman both won in the free-for-all. GG. GG, guys. That eyesore. I know, I was like, I was telling somebody that we could take it down. And like, no, that needs to stay forever. It's a monument. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I'm legit, like, embarrassed by it. <laughs> All right, a couple more materials in here for some torches. Sorry, I took your stuff. I'm new. I put it all back. <laughs> Whoever that was, all is forgiven. <laughs> that is okay. Appreciate that they put the stuff back. All right. There we go. That's enough torches. Actually, let's get some food while we're here. You stole from me on the server the first night, too. <laughs> Everybody steals from us. It's okay. It just, it happens. Ooh, soup to Ted. I just drank soup that was gifted to me. We got some carrots. That's a food source. Fish. Ooh, pie guy's pie. This stuff's the best. Mmm. All right, let's go get some torches in that area to mark off what is gonna be being built and where in the spawn area. Well, the cool thing Animator Gamer plays is soon we're gonna have a super fast way to get back to spawn, even if you're way out. Hey, Lucas is on. Oh, I love it. That works. That's one way to do it. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of torches here. <clears throat> that you can kind of mark off, at least for now. I just figured it was a cheap way to be able to, to do it. Just kind of mark off a square. Can someone bring you an elytra? <clears throat> I only have one, so if I bring it out to you, I'm, I think most people only have one or none. I 
I got chased by a witch and an illager on my first spawn on the basement server. Talk about a warm welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> How is it Patreon only? What would be stopping anyone else from joining the server? Yeah, this one is uh, it's a whitelisted server. Who needs the elytra? I think it was Animator Gamer Plays just said that. Yep. They said, uh, can someone bring me an Eli? But you can take a little bit bigger of a space if you'd like, Chi. There's so much room. If you want to keep it that small, you're, you're welcome to. But, I mean, feel free. Actually, you know what? Chi, let's have you build, like... I want to keep a good clear view of the couch when you're coming down. So why don't we start your build like here and then go that way a little bit. So like um, this can be one corner like this area. Does that work? I just realized like if the basement couch gets covered up, that's probably not that's probably that's not on brand yeah <laughs> and I realize it's probably easier to just place dirt. Yeah, let's do that. So it'll be like this area. Let's see. Is this is this too big or too small, Chi? Could you build in like this kind of space? Like that feels good. That feels kind of like a building size, you know? Like if it's if it's smaller than that, it's kind of too small. If it's bigger than that, then it's kind of like a little large. Perfect. Cool. I'll go ahead and fill this back in here. Go teamwork. Look at that, we got a few patrons hanging on here with us. It's wonderful. This way the spawn will have like a little bit of like everybody's personality in it as well as like more of like a community sort of like cool vibe to it. I almost want to make it feel like like basement world like Disney World but like you know basementy. <laughs> Walking down Main Street USA. Yeah, I'm so excited to see what you build, Chi. Have a ton of fun making a monument that will stand forever in the basement's realm. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Disney World, but more cobbly. See, part of it is I'm trying to get rid of this whole, like, it's a desolate wasteland vibe. <laughs> is it so big? We could put so much cool stuff in it, you know? We have a green main street that comes right down the middle with the fountain. It's just it's a big project for one person to do. But at the same time, it would be really lame if only one person did it all, right? Like, it'd be way more fun if it was a team effort. Man, you can really see which areas don't have any uh, torches in them from up here. Streaming that other people in the chat actually see or read your message. I find it much better than uh, that 50k live stream chats full of high spams. Yeah, the smaller the uh, smaller streams where you can actually chat are are really fun. I like them too. That's why I started uh, doing Twitch, especially at on early mornings. Um, one of the things that I'm planning on putting in spawn, just so you guys all know, and it'll be kind of fun to show off. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a I'm planning on making a scale model of my actual house in real life so you guys could like come over to my house <laughs> yeah so this is just the the start but we got a cool jail over there I'm thinking people can like kind of add their own uh, kind of flavor, like different ideas of what could be here too, like. Oh, I thought you'd meet me halfway. A Patreon is a person that would support another person so they could be educated or do their job. Yeah, a patron. Yeah, it came from, um, if you look up on the Patreon website, it's actually kind of a cool idea because he said back in the, a long time ago, kings and wealthy individuals would become patrons of the great artists like Michelangelo or Leonardo or Raphael or Splinter. And he, they would say, hey, I will pay your salary if you just continue to make art as long as you make a bunch of art for me. And they're like, okay, deal. So that's how the artists were able to feed their families and that kind of stuff. Well, <laughs> I was hoping somebody would get that, Alex. <laughs> um, or April O'Neil, the greatest artist of them all. A journalistic artist. But, uh, well, nowadays wealthy that that still happens a little bit but he was like the creator of patreon was like if we can why couldn't we crowdfund that you know why 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 does it have to be one wealthy person who pays the salary of an artist why can't we have like 2000 people each like chipping in a dollar and getting all the access to the art and the behind the scenes and everything like that um Ooh, I'm going to take this guy out in the air. This phantom won't know what hit him. Don't you attack my chi! Ouch. Ouch. Where did that phantom go? He was trying to attack chi panda. I'm not okay with that. I will haunt you in the night. Did I take him out? I feel like I would have seen it if he was dead. Well, the Phantom's not chasing after us anymore, so that's a plus, I guess. Ooh. Yep, I'm just flying around. Right now I'm trying to... Uh, Make sure that a phantom isn't killing Chi Panda. But we're looking, look, we're looking pretty safe. I don't even see him in the sky anymore, so I must have scared him away. Time to eat some pie. Ooh, 
Whoa, hello. Ha <laughs> ha! You get out of here. Where did that Enderman go? I am in a Disney World, but I'm in a basement. We have this community uh, kelp EXP station. People can come over here and heal their uh, their various mending equipment. All they got to do should probably pull this other junk out of here. All they got to do is throw some kelp in the top. And this was created by Zek. Thank you for putting this kelp farm right here. <laughs> Just put a little bit of kelp up here in the top. Get these babies cooking. And uh, let's see, the best way to block this off would be to throw bread there. Go in here, and every time one cooks... Got 18 experience levels right now, and some damage on my mending equipment. Oops, that's still finding its way in here. How is it doing that? Uh, bowl. Okay. 21 levels. This is not as super OP as Peter's Potato Farm, but... It'll eventually get there. The more stuff it gets cooked here, the more XP it doles out. Should probably let's fix my uh, mending pickaxe. This is a netherite pickaxe. Boom, fixed. Chi, pull some of the kelp out of that smoker on the right when it cooks. I want to watch and see how much experience you get. So right, right out of the second smoker here. Must be typing. Oh, it finished. So yeah, pull the, pull the dry kelp that just got cooked out of that right smoker. <laughs> Must be a little bit of chat delay. I wonder how many levels you're actually gonna get. But I fixed my shovel and my uh, pickaxe, so that's good. All right. Oh! Ugh. Don't want to fall to my death. What's up here? Who built this crazy thing? Interesting. It's like a big target. Oh, it's okay, Chi. <laughs> Lagging a little. It happens. What does this say? Midnight was here. Midnight does like to travel. And here's a little A for Alex. Oh! I missed it. Can I land on that thing?
No! This gives me like a lot of memories right now of pilot wings. I did it! Midnight was here. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> you don't know who built it, but you put the A's on it. <laughs> That's great. That is wonderful. Way to claim it. I think Sky's base is somewhere over here. Sky Dragon. But I don't remember where. Got some art. That's not the... Oh! Yeah, it's still pretty weird. It's a little pig and a girl. Let's get inside this guy. going through his foot I think right yeah there's the door four-year-old cousin just said that if we sneak up the store we can get the eggnog if you sneak up on the store that's the little thing that plays the music da 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 and that's his teeth. Interesting. <laughs> it is a little confusing, Rubber Man. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I'm thoroughly relaxed now from... This was a fun stream, but we do got to end it here, guys. I got to wake up in the morning and get to church thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight this was really really great just to be able to play some really chill minecraft after playing some really stressful minecraft earlier on it was good i think i could actually kind of get into bed wars a little bit as things goes on but guys especially for those of you who stuck around and who are still here i want to give everybody in the chat 200 rupees just to say thank you for hanging out thanks for uh being regular viewers thanks for all of the donations and all of you patrons and mods thank you for uh just being awesome and you're welcome i'm glad that i get to stream and hang out with y'all a few times a week remember monday mornings and monday nights we're over on twitch friday mornings on twitch as well and then saturday nights here on youtube and invite you guys to come and hang out with us as we do that i know monday morning i'm gonna be 100 or not 100 percenting, but i'm gonna be getting the true ending or working toward it on hollow night we're on the final boss it's really, really hard, and we're having a great time over there. Uh, more videos coming out on the channel uh, and on Basement Let's Play as well in the next couple days. And other than that, uh, until next time, Basement Dwellers, I think that you guys are more filling up on eggnog than a four-year-old who's confused about how eggnog is procured in the basement.